Welcome back to the Stephen and Sheep Metal Super One British Karting Championships. First race up is uh, a bonus race, in fact. We normally just show the last final of the day, but for Junior Rotax, we're going to kick off with the uh, final one. And uh, the favourite for the championship this year, I've picked the man alongside me here. It's the Wooder Brothers, in fact. Both of the brothers won the British Open titles here at Rower last weekend. It was Dave in uh, Junior Rotax, Luke in Minimax. Dave, first of all, you're, you're up in this first final we're going to see. You've, you've had a good start so far, I think. Yeah, we've had a good start. Um, in the heats and the qualifying was good. We're um, off P3 on the grid, so um, we're in the fun group. So that's all I could like. That's all we was hoping for. It must have been a good weekend for you kids and your dad last week. Uh, you won the British Open title in junior. And Luke, you won it in Minimax as well, didn't you? And uh, you've had a, a good introduction to Minimax. You're going pretty well this season. Um, struggling a little bit yesterday? Um, yeah, struggling a bit yesterday. Um, problems with the cart and things. But yeah, I think we'll be all right today. Um, OK, boys. Well, Dave, you're up first. And uh, here's that junior Rotax race. So off to the grid then for the pre-final. Hugo Bentley-Ellis on pole position from Tom Gamble, Dave Wooder, the O-Plate, and Josh Skelton on row two. Zach Falk and Sandy Mitchell on row three, ahead of Jack McCarthy and Will Shaw. Rounding out the top ten, William Tregertha and Alex McRoberts. A 30-cart field and a standing star should be very interesting for this first race of the day, the pre-final for Junior Rotax. We'll wait for the lights to go out and the drivers are away and it's a clean getaway. A little bit of jostling in the back of the pack, but it looks to me as though Hugo Bentley Ellis has got a perfect getaway into the first chicane for the first time. And I have to say, not much of a big moment there in the first chicane, so sounds like a good plan. Yeah, they all got through there cleanly. Will they get through McRae's? Are oh, loading into McRae's and that's that's caught out Max Bird, the 12 cut 45. Rory Smith is involved, 25 Darren King from the USA. That's a long trip from the USA to get punted off on uh, turn two, Yuri Vips was involved and so was uh, Max Timmermans, the Belgian driver. It's uh, Bentley Ellis out front in the early stages though, Jake. Good start. Yeah, a little bit of a clash at McRae's, but con considering what we've had in the past, that's pretty good going really for the start. And Bentley Ellis is being hassled all the way here by the 43 of Josh Skelton, really starting to push him, put him under pressure here. And it looks like a move for third position as well. Looks like Wooder, Wooder up to third. So Dave Wood of the O-plate definitely trying to put himself in the frame here and it looks like Sandy Mitchell trying to move his way up through the pack as well in the 19. Very distinguishable by that red helmet. Up to fourth position he goes, a lovely little move there. You must be colour blind, Jake. That's uh, orange, I'm absolutely certain <laughs> of it. There he is. In, uh, easy to pick out uh, Sandy in that orange helmet. Uh, very easy indeed. Place is being made up through the hairpin. Alex McRoberts on the 60 cups in junior TKM last year as a rookie. Oh, a little bit of a punt on the back there. He just mistimed his braking, did the 43 of Josh Skelton. And Hugo Bentley Ellis got a little bit of a punt into the uh, top corner there, up at the stewardesses. He was lucky to get away with that one. Through Sunny Bend up to uh, the final turn on the track. Paddock Bend, and here comes Wood of a second. Wood is up to second. Mi looks Mi like Mitchell's gone through yes, as well. Yes, Mitchell's going through as well for third position. Brilliant stuff off the final bend. And it looks like now we've got a five-way tussle, six-way tussle for the lead here as they make their way up to McRae's once more. Hugo Bentley-Ellis is going to have to watch his back here because the chasing pack are right on it. Great new pictures from these uh, low-down cameras. We've got one through the final turn and one through the chicane. And it's Sandy Mitchell, Cart 19. Super 1 vice champion, British Open champion in Honda Cadet in 2012. So got a, a lot of pedigree has Sandy and they're comfortably in third place close enough if good enough and again as I've said before we know that he is yeah we just saw Connor Hall making a move into Ardell's at the uh, last part of the lap uh, good charge there from Connor Hall but he's got a long way to make up if he can want to get himself into the top six Mitchell swarming all over the back of the O-plate Wooder as they go through the final bend and onto the main straight once again. This is a great battle developing here, and they're slowly starting to lose touch of the men in uh, the battle for fourth place. Mitchell hovering over Wooder. Wooder going for the move on Hugo Bentley Ellis, and he's made it through, and Mitchell's made it through as well. So Dave Wooder, the O-plate, goes into the lead. Looks to me Hugo Bentley Ellis has dropped back Sandy into Mitchell fourth place. Back, though. Yeah, Mitchell Sandy Mitchell gets him back, so Mitchell back into the lead through. The Ardell's hairpin, but here comes Wooder down at the S's, and Wooder's back through to the lead as well. And, so, and Tom, Gam racing. Tom Gamble's trying to get in there as well in third position, having moved his way past Hugo Bentley Ellis. Tom Gamble in third position now, trying to move up. This is great stuff from Gamble, trying to push his way through in the 23. But as you said, Alan, up at the front, it is Wooder. Sandy Mitchell still trying to make that move stick, and Tom Gamble swarming all over the back of them. Through the final turn, again, this low down camera. Pick out your favourite drivers as they all sweep through 
the uh, last turn and then through this chicane. This is the reason partly why we've had standing starts this weekend. This chicane just 50 or 60 metres or so beyond the start line. And uh, from what we've seen so far this weekend in the heats leading up to this uh, first pre-final, it seems to have worked. Ooh, a lovely little move there on the front again. Connor Hall making the sweeping pass and several drivers going through with. I think that was the move made on the 60 of Alex McRoberts falling backwards down the field. Two or three places there. That's what happens in this world. You make a move and the man who gets caught out by it loses momentum and yeah. two or three sweep by. Yeah, and Hugo Bentley Ellis looks like he's lost a, a load of places since the start. He had the lead early on, but uh, see if we can pick him out. Well, Wooder and Mitchell have just driven away from the rest of the pack. They've 32. checked out. They're going yeah, to fight the battle of them on their own. Yeah, 32 cart going through the picture. You can just spot him. So he's lost a load of places there, hasn't he? And up the move on to third position. This is a great move from Josh Skelton as he makes the move through. Yes, he does. And I think, is that the 81 going with... No, it isn't. Sorry, it's the seven going through, I believe. Well, it's 80, 81, Jack McCarthy. And there he is, and, and gets a switch back on the pair of them. Tregertha there, the 71 car, just make out William, the KR Sport driver. And still this battle rages between Wooder and Mitchell with Gamble still in third position. No, sorry, it isn't Gamble, is it? It's Josh Skelton now in the 43, trying his best to get away from the chasing pack. And it's anybody's guess for fifth position at the moment. It's a great battle royale out there. Yeah, Jack McCarthy, the 81 in fourth place. Nice to see Jack back at the pointy end. And there is uh, Bentley Ellis making up a place through Paddock. They sweep past the uh, low down static camera and, and the static camera in the uh, chicane as well. And it was a move on William Tregertha, he got another opportunity on. But look, all of a sudden, we've got Josh Skelton in the 43. No, sorry, I thought it was Josh Skelton on the back. It's not, it's Zach Folk. Zach Folk, there he is, KR Sport driver, fourth in the 2012 British Cadet Championships. Is that him a lap down already? I wonder if he's had a problem elsewhere. And I think he, I think he's a lap adrift, Alan. You're right, he is. He is, he's a, he's a lap down. He's had a problem early on, and uh, so the driver there currently, who looks like he's in third place, actually is a lap down. Well, a little further on into the race, and this battle between Dave Wood of the O-Plate and Sandy Mitchell, the 19, still going strong with uh, Zach Falk right behind them on the road, but a lap adrift in the timesheets, and that's actually creating a nice little buffer for the pair of them. They can just duke out this battle on their own, and the battle for third position, nowhere to be seen as far as uh, challenging for the victory is concerned. It's almost all over. Yeah, Zach Falk is the blocker between second and third, certainly. So William Mitchell out front, then McCarthy, Skelton, 14 is Connor Hall, then comes the uh, 55 card of Sam McKenzie, then Hugo Bentley Ellis just in behind them. That just shows you what can happen. I mean, Hugo Bentley Ellis was out in front right at the start of this. All it takes is a little bit of momentum to drop off, and you just end up falling backwards down the field, Alan. Yeah, sixth place uh, at the moment for. Uh, he goes at six or I seven. think it's seventh now. So seventh, he, yeah. yeah, he really is dropping back all the way and uh, oblivious to it all. These two still battling away at the front as they make their way through Iredales and down the straight towards the stewardesses once more. I think Mitchell might be lining him up here. Yeah, it's a great move by Sandy Mitchell there. Sandy knows this circuit really well from Scotland, obviously. Sandy well, and uh, races uh, so has raced over the years at Rowra uh, quite consistently. Well, this is one of the oldest battles in the world, isn't it? This is the Saltire versus the George's Cross. This is Scotland versus <laughs> England, and they are really ripping it up this circuit at the moment through the final bend. I don't think Dave Wood of the O-Plate is finished yet. He's got a good opportunity here. Looked like he got a really good exit off the paddock then turn, and I wouldn't be surprised if he lines him up, possibly towards McRae's. We're not really looking at the leaders at this point. I have a feeling Dave Wooder might be lining Mitchell up for a move. Certainly the momentum was with him off Paddock Ben. No, he hasn't quite made it through yet as they headed through into Ardells. I wonder if he's going to repeat the move. Talking about drivers from Scotland, Jake. Uh, we may be calling them international drivers at some point in the very <laughs> near future. But we've got, as it, here's Wooder for the lead. Talk about the last lap lunge. Look at that. That was beautiful. Certainly the last moment lunge anyway. I think we've got a couple of laps still to run. But Sandy Mitchell doesn't like that. He is really flying here mm. onto the back of Wooder. And who's joined them in third it's, place? It's Jack McCarthy. Here's McCarthy. He's in the mix as well. McCarthy's looking for, for a win. Oh, we've got a three-way fight here, and uh, behind them, Hugo Bentley Ellis sets the fastest lap, 46.94. So I wonder if he's just dropped back a little bit and then built up the momentum again, because you tend to find that people in space do tend Last to get quick lap laps is. in. And, oh, oh, Mitchell tries, but no way. Wooder slams the door shut. No way, bucko. You're not getting past and, me and, now. And that, and look at that one move, Jake. That's won him the race. That's one Dave Wooder the race. Mitchell down the inside, lost momentum. 
Wood has uh, been able to pull eight to ten cart lengths clear, and that's given him the win here in this uh, early pre-final. The grid positions for the final two, the, te the what we normally call the televised final, coming up uh, in the next part of this programme. The grid positions for that race are set by the finishing positions for the drivers in this race. And Roberts, the 20, the 31 car, beg your pardon, has made up 17 oh, places. This could be an opportunity for second place. Is there going to be a change? No, no, Mitchell just hangs on in front of McCarthy for the second position. He was swarming all over him at the end there. But a great win by Dave Wooder in the O plate. Grid positions for final two coming up after the break are set by the finishing positions in this uh, pre-final. It was Wooder that took the win from Sandy Mitchell in second place the 19 cart and Jack McCarthy was down in 10th place at one point and came through to challenge for the podium in the end. Don't go away, final two coming up.